My name is Mel Ali, and this is Learning Cell Stack 2.0. Many of you are probably wondering why the upgrade in the Cell Stack course. Well, I ran into a few hiccups in ordering the course when I moved the channel into the Learner DevOps account, and my editing skills in the previous courses were not the best. This playlist is to tackle those problems and focus on the actual workflow itself. This is why I created a this is why I have the GitHub page up. I will be using it to commit all my changes as I've done in the past. But I'll also be writing tickets, also known as GitHub issues, and resolving them as I would in an actual work environment. I'll be focusing more on the actual use cases of Cell Stack without going too far into the advanced areas. That would mean no more using the Salt API by a customer application, like when using Flask, for example. I'm also having I'm also solving the issue of DRY or do not repeat yourself from the previous videos where in the previous videos where there were three environments for dev, QA, and prod, in this version they will be set as the same state but will be applied by CI to each of those host classes. So for example, whenever I commit, it will go to dev first, make sure dev passes through, then QA, then make sure QA passes through, then eventually prod. Now, I'd like to mention some channel updates. Unlike in the past, this channel will be monetized by YouTube when available. These videos take time and money to make, so I'm going to be monetizing them as, to get as much back as I can. I will also heavily depend on Patreon, so any additional support I, I receive from Patreon, I greatly appreciate. Going forward, there will be more focus on programming languages rather than just using DevOps tools. This is because new tools and some existing tools require a lot of programming uh, knowledge. And also, a lot of the jobs that you will see on the market on LinkedIn or we work remotely or wherever you might be searching all require some sort of programming languages like Python, Java, Golang, or C or C++. So going forward, this channel will be focusing more on programming languages. With that being said, let's go ahead and go to the next video and get started.